Hello again, this is Steve from SDR Play. In this video, we will show you how to synchronize the VFO frequency across multiple instances of SDR Uno. First thing you're probably asking is what exactly do I mean by that? Well, as an example, sometimes you might want to sync two different tuners to the same frequency. A good example being the recent antenna comparison video I made showing how you can look at uh, two different antennas and compare the relative performance between them. This kind of setup is ideal for the RSP Duo if it's running in dual tuner mode, but it can also be used for any two RSPs, for example the RSP1A or the RSP2, which are connected to the same computer, and you may want to set them to the same frequency, although each may be connected to a different antenna. The requirements to do this then are either an RSP Duo or two separate RSPs. You will also need to be running SDR Uno, version 1.24 or later. You will want OmniRig, and you also need to set up a virtual COM port pair. So let's see how this works out in practice. The first thing you do before we can synchronize our VRXs across different instances of SDR Uno is to download and install two pieces of software. The first one is OmniRig, and I've included a link for that in the description in case you don't already have it installed. And the second one is some software to create a virtual pair of COM ports. Commonly used would be VSPE or Comocom. Again, they need to be downloaded and installed before we can proceed any further. And uh, I've already done a video showing you how to set up Comocom uh, if you're not sure how to do that. Once the programs are installed, the first thing we want to do is go to Device Manager. In Device Manager, under COM ports, we see that I've set up a virtual pair here, COM5 and COM6, using Comocom. These will be the two COM ports we use for setting up SDR Uno. The next thing is we need to set up OmniRig. We start up the program. Rig 1 I've already set up for controlling my TS590 and I don't want to mess with that because that's set up nicely so that I can implement a pan adapter. So instead I'm going to set up Rig 2 and I need to select TS480 which has nothing to do with any particular rig it's just to do with the command sets that support it uh, across uh, the CAT interface. And then the COM port we need is COM5, the first one of the pair that we looked at earlier. So TS480, COM5, OK. Now that we've done that, we can start up SDR Uno. There's two things we need to do here. For um, the first VRX, we need to go to the settings and go to O-Rig and select Rig 2 and click on the RSYN 2 button which means this VRX will be controlling OmniRig. You can then go look in the main settings again under O-Rig. We see the TS480 we set up in OmniRig. It's not responding because there's nothing for it to control right now and it's in use by Instance 0 VRX 0 as indicated here. So having done that the first thing I want to do is rearrange the windows. I'll use the auto layout and set this up as the master, which means the top half of the screen. Now I will set the mode for RSP Duo to dual so that we can set up a second tuner. Having done that, I can then start a second instance of SDR Uno. Once this is up, again, I will go to auto layouts and set it for the slave arrangement which is the bottom half of the screen. Now in the slave tuner I go to the settings menu and now instead of O-Rig I go to CAT and now I select the second of the COM port pair which would be COM6, enable and connect and it shows we're now connected and indeed we see that the rig now appears as being online in the main settings. Now that we've done that, we can start uh, the software running. And 
uh, here we see that now if we change the VRX frequency on the master tuner the changes are reflected in the tuner below and that's all there is to it now although here we're using the RSP duo you can use exactly the same technique if for example you have two RSP 1A's you set up the first instance of SDR Uno to control the first RSP 1A which you will select from a menu at startup and you make that the controlling part of the arrangement and set it up with OmniRig just as I showed you here having done that you can start up the second instance of SDR Uno which will automatically connect to the second RSP 1A and again you will go to settings for its VRX and go to cat and specify the second of the two virtual COM ports you had set up. Indeed, you can actually do this within a single instance of SDR Uno between two VRXs, although for the life of me I can't think of any reason why you'd want to have two VRXs connected to the same tuner and synchronizing the frequency between the two, but it can be done. So to review the steps that had to be followed to set this all up. Firstly, you have to install OmniRig if you haven't already done so. Secondly, you need to install some virtual COM port software if you haven't already done that. And the link shown there will get you to the download for ComoCom. Having done that, you, you can start the first instance of SDR Uno and you set it up as you would for a pan adapter. This involves using the settings menu in the main SDR Uno window and also the settings menu in the VRX window and in that you will use the OVRIG tab. Having done that you can then start the second instance of SDR Uno and set it up for CAT control. Again you'll be using the settings menu in the VRX window only this time you'll be using the CAT tab rather than the OVRIG tab. Now I'd also like to mention something that I did not illustrate in the video. Although you can freely change frequency up and down the band, if you decide you want to move to a different band, uh, for example on the main controlling instance, you go to a different band, say from 40 meters to 20 meters, you'll find that the second VRX will not follow you. And that's because its LO was locked as part of using the band preselects. In which case, if you want to go to 20 meters, you have to select 20 meters in both VRX windows and then again they will be in sync. I hope that kind of made some kind of sense. Anyway, that's it for today. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope you found this video useful. As always, there is more information on our website at sdrplay.com. And again, thank you. 73.